Hey, 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 what's up, happy people? You've got Fat Daddy and his brother Blue Gabe here. We're rolling out, y'all. And it, here's the scoop. Earlier today, I actually had the whole family on here. But while I was out there, take a gander at this. Hey, what's up, y'all? I got my little buddy here. This is Ryan Smith. I went and fueled the boat up again over at Venture Out. Next thing you know, he's like a squirrel. He just jumps on the boat. He's ready to go. He's Water's really dirty, but uh, we'll see what happens. Put your gear on, I can see the grouper. Uh -huh. There's a two grouper, a porcupine fish, and a goliath grouper all in that hole. Dad, we got the whole crew. Hey, Oss, why don't you just pull right up there and drop the anchor? Honey, just pull right up there and drop the anchor. I don't know how I'm gonna get this grouper out of there, but I'm getting him out. Come here, Arya. Uh, no, hey, Arya, tell Arya to, Arya, come up here with Daddy. Hold on to the, hold on to the rope. I got his head turned around, now I think I can get him by the mouth.
grouper. I'm calling 25. Over 24. I'm you. <laughs> yes. Dad, why don't we... Yeah. Oh, nice. What you doing, Jake? I'm trying to catch some kudas. It's got a little Yosemite jerk bait on a little bit of wire. All right, y'all. Got Mama here. She's got her little head cover, <laughs> her little head cover on. Whatever. She's not practicing for the Olympics. She actually, her hair gets all knotty. I told her go full dread, but whatever. It, it would have been if I went to got this thing. But we're back. Look, I noodled a Goliath grouper. No harm done. Let him go. Then we were able to get that black grouper. Epic. We're gonna be eating him later, but Pulse now. Down. We're looking for hogfish, mangrove snappers, grouper, whatever. That looks like that one. Holy smoke is dirty. See the inside of that mouth? That's for you. Shock it's so weird watching my older brother do this stuff because I know how demanding I am and how we think everybody knows what we're thinking but nobody really does. So watching him do it, I'm sitting here laughing inside. Okay, hit mark on the GPS here, right here. You gotta hold this, because I gotta name this. Name I'm this thinking. Candy Crush. Done.
God, get him! Oh my God! He's got to be at least 20 inches long. I've been doing battle with this sucker. Have you ever heard that song? I'm not as good as I once was. <laughs> well, he just found out that I'm as good once as I ever was. He's 20. He's illegal. But he earned his freedom. Anything that's willing to fight that hard deserves to go back. It's always important when we do this, one person will run the boat and you gotta pay very close attention to all your divers that are in the water. Otherwise, people get spread out, next thing you know, an accident can happen. So, gotta pay close attention. I even did a good cameraman job for you with the video. Yeah. There you go. Ryan! There he is. Little mangrove. There you go. Nice mangrove snapper. Good shot. I saw Gabe just turn around right there. Guaranteed you. after something right there. I miss the free shafting days. I don't know if y'all can see that. Gabe's holding the holding the fish up out of the air. That means there's a shark there. I'm gonna turn it around here. Pick up move, this shark's getting mean. Look at that, son. Well, you put me in to kill stuff and hey, I got us a bunch of dinner. The There's obviously a shark, I haven't seen Every him yet. I see but I speared that one. Right there. And he was fighting around on the bottom so I didn't rush down there to get him because that's how you get shark bit. Sarah had to pole spear so I went down, had her watching my back, pole spear and pulled my shaft out. Now I got something to fight the shark with and we got dinner, so. When sharks pull in, that's not time to panic. That's time to pay attention. Are you having fun, sweetheart? Yeah, except all the hogfish are too small. <laughs> My little brother, Blue Gabe, if you haven't already checked him out on YouTube, he's already much kind of like YouTube famous, so everyone knows about him now. I was trying to pack up to head home because I've been here for a while. They're like, you're going with us. Yeah, I'm like, get on the boat. Shh. Let's go, dummy. But um, anyway. We got little Ryan with us. We were on a reconnaissance mission. We found a bunch of really great holes. I named them like Ding Ding, Cha Cha. Uh, what was the other one? Candy Shack. Candy Shack. Uh, candy, candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. <laughs> I name whatever pops into my head is what I name them by. I named one Donkey Lob Rock because you said there's lobsters as big as donkeys in here. <laughs> but uh, that's it. We're gonna head back. We're gonna flay some fish and we're gonna make a really awesome meal. Thanks for being a part of it.
And on our last video when we were spear fishing, a couple people were like, hey, how long were those fish? So I just want to show you, I got a little measuring tape. We're very critical about being law-abiding citizens. See that? That hogfish is about 17 to the fork. He closes his mouth and he's uh, about 25 inches. And this hogfish is 17 and a half inches. So just very important to know the rules and abide by the rules. Typically, uh, a fish like this, you would want to use his head and make stock. When you cut them cheeks out like that, they literally will pop off and they make for a great little medallion. You want that knife? Your, your knife will work right up into his, into his uh, jaw there. Cut it around. And as soon as you detach it right here, your thumb will take it right off. Then, you can actually see where this fish had been speared previously, but it's amazing what these fish can live through out there in that ocean. And uh, you notice I got my silver stag back, thank God. My, uh, I, I give a, you know, whenever I meet somebody and, you know, I think they could use my knife, I just give it to them and I gave the guys in Alaska my last fillet knife and my mom brought me this one that she had at her house. And there's just a difference to me whenever I'm filleting with a silver stag versus everything else. This knife just cuts really, really well. Look at that beautiful piece of meat. So cool like we're sitting here cutting fish and I'm listening to my dad, my daughters, and my mom over in the pool having a good time. And that really personifies what the Florida Keys are all about to me. It's about family. It's about vacation. It's about fishing and diving. It's about growing up. It's about learning. It's about memories. Cut through those pin bones right there. Now, we can use this, boil it down, and make stock. See where there's a little bit of bone I cut right there? And take your knife, hold it real close to the end, and just, what I do is I use my left hand, and I pull, and I wiggle the knife, and it all comes off, and you're left with a perfect a filet. Cut out them pin bones. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is absolute delicioso. Let's go cook it. I'm gonna make something really fun. You can do this wherever you are. Well, the kids are actively having a blast in the pool, and I'm gonna get this fish ready to go. These are little key limes. They're little limes that grow down here, and they have such a wonderful flavor. Then we'll take some original Everglades, and we're just gonna lay them right on there. Having the right size fish for this recipe is extremely important. I found these hot dog buns over at Murray's Market and I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty amazing when we do what I think I'm gonna do. Take our rolls. Now that's all lovely. There's our fish and our roll. Lay it right in there just like that. Get us another nice sized piece, about like that. Ooh, man! This mango came right off my dad's tree. My dad loves this stuff on calamari. Let's see how he likes it on this. Sweet Thai chili sauce. I was thinking about this out on the boat. Now it's on a plate. Let's see what everyone thinks. What kind of fish is it? 
Grouper. That's good, buddy. It's what we do. We go out, we hunt, we fish, we have a good time, we make memories. Then we come home and eat it. I appreciate you being a part of it. We had a lot of fun. If you guys haven't already, please check out my little brother, Blue Gabe. That was my wife, dear mom. And together, we just had a great time. Thanks for being a part of it. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.